Hello and welcome to Horseshoe Master How To Videos. This is clip number five and today we'll be working on loading classes to the tournament. Okay, we now have Horseshoe Master open. So let's scroll down to tournaments on our left. Click on tournaments and now let's click on play singles. This opens the singles round robin information page and let's first thing let's check make sure that you have the correct tournament and now we want to go load the classes into the singles round robin information page and we've already inserted the players into the tournament and assigned them classes in the previous video so now we want to load the classes into the round robin page here click on the little arrow right here where it says beside the load and we want to choose a class first now we want to tell it to load click load and what that does that highlights a couple options here buy and pair and pacer here what this does horseshoe master realizes this is a odd person class so we can either choose buy or pacer if we choose buy, that means we only need two courts for a five-person class. If we choose pacer, then we're going to need three courts. Let's choose buy. Now, we've got to set our courts. We have court number one here highlighted. We want to use the down arrow key right beside that window. Don't pay any attention to the up arrow key because it's for something else. Okay, click the down arrow key and that automatically defaults to two. So two courts is all we need for this and we have done chosen by. So we tell it to create the pairings. So click on create pairings. And you can always check here on the court column here to see that you have the courts correct. If you don't have the courts correct, then all you have to do is go up here and delete the pairing. Click delete pairing and then you'll get a window that says delete entire class pairings and just tell it yes. All right, now let's go reset that class again. A class load. Click buy because we're going to use a five person class. We're going to click court one. And again, choose the down arrow key beside that little window. Disregard the up arrow key because that's for something else altogether. So we got court one, click the down arrow key, and we got two. Now we tell it to create the pairings. There it has created the pairings, and we, as you can see, we're on court one and two. Now let's go load our next class. Let's go load B class. Click on B, tell it to load. And as you will notice, it does not highlight the buy and the pacer because this is an even person class. And as I said, Horseshoe Master knows this. Anytime you see that court number in this little window here highlighted, you can overwrite that number by choosing the court you want to use on your keyboard. So we've done use courts one and two. So here we're going to use court three. I'm going to hit three on the keyboard and it'll overwrite to one. Now we're going to click the down arrow again. Click the down and we're going to overwrite to two with a four. Click the arrow key again, the down arrow key. And we're going to overwrite that court, which is court three with a number five. Now we're going to tell it to create the parents. Okay, we're court three, four, and five. So we have loaded class B. So now let's go load one more class. Let's go load C class. All right, we have used courts one through five on our two previous classes, but we don't have to use continuous numbered courts. So class C is a cadet class, and we don't want to pitch the cadets beside the 40 foot pitchers. As I said, we've used courts one through five, so let's use courts seven hit your down arrow key and let's say court eight has got a bad stake so we're going to go to court nine 
hit 9 on your keyboard. Okay, we've got court 7 and court 9 for the cadet class. But we want to pitch this class two rounds since there's only four people in the class and we're pitching 20 shoe games for the cadets. So let's go to the, the little window down here where it says, besides where it says rounds, click on that arrow and go down and choose two. So that's, we've chose pitching two rounds. So we're going to tell it to create the pairing because we've got our court seven and court nine set for these cadets. I see that we have got the courts wrong here. So again, we can go delete the pairings, tell it yes, and we go to class C again, load, and we want to pitch you on court seven. We're skipping court six, and we want to go to court nine. Okay, and we're going to choose two rounds, as I said before, because this is a cadet class and we only have 20 shoe games, and we've got to get enough shoes in for them to be able to report their tournament to issue. So click the two and tell it to create the pairings. This time we've got the courts correct. We're on court seven and court nine. So that's how you set the courts up where you don't use continuous numbers for your courts. That's about all for this video, and we hope we have successfully shown you how to load the classes to your round robin page. And with that, we would like to wish you a good day.